County Library. Today is a very rainy June the 2nd, a Sunday, and I thought it was a good chance to talk to Mrs. Margaret Edwards. The farm was, was the thing that I wanted. I thought I wanted it for him, but I'm sure I wanted it most for myself. So, after thinking it over, I came in and found him resting, and I said, Doc, I have solved our problems. I'm not going to cry anymore. I got to thinking that had we not bought the farm, I would be here by myself, even if I had been able to afford the farm. I'd go out and work and come in exhausted with nobody to talk to. Here, I come in and I've got a handsome lover, a good conversationist, a sweetheart, and somebody that would make a good front man. How did you ever learn to build a fence, though? I was reared on a farm in Texas. Oh. And I, there I helped milk the cows, and I got interested in the animals, and, and I knew a little about them, but I never had really had charge of them. But I felt with all this land and this wonderful grass, I needed some something to keep the underbrush down, and I certainly didn't want to go. So I got some grade cattle. And I had them for a while, and my butcher called me one day, and he said, would you like some registered Hereford cows? And I said, well, certainly, but I couldn't pay for them. He said, you come up here, I want to show you some. I went up there, and a man had decided, an old man had decided to go into the dairy business, and he threw his registered Herefords on the market and sold them to a, a, a man who eventually sold them to a butcher. And they were so beautiful that the butcher simply could not kill them. So he sold them to me at meat prices, and I bought four cows and brought them in. And that was the way I started the, um, the herd. You left Pratt Library, though. You had a start in the Hereford cows. Yes. Oh, I started this before. You see, I, I continued to work at the library after Doc retired. Oh, yeah. So uh, I worked... Uh, oh, I guess 10 years or more, after he retired, until I was old enough to retire and get a pension, oh. you see. So he would meet me at the Greyhound bus and bring me home, and he learned to cook. I was ready to retire from the Pratt Library after some 30 years of service and finally come to where I could just spend my whole time on the farm. And I asked that I not be given any farewell present. I had contributed so often to people who were retiring, and really the only reason I was glad to contribute to one or two of them was that I was so glad to see them leave, and I, I felt that was the way probably some of them would feel about me, and I didn't want any hat pass. If they would just let me put on my hat and walk out, they said, okay, okay. So the last morning I was there, I was holding my final meeting with the young adult assistants up in the Munda room. And they said that the secretary had called, it was toward the end of the meeting, and that I was needed very badly in the shipping room. I went down, and here was Ned Merriman, one of the King Ken Hereford breeders in the state, with a truck. And in the truck was the most beautiful bull calf I almost ever saw with a blue ribbon around his neck. And all the young adult assistants, not only the ones here at Pratt, but the ones who had used to be at Pratt, who had gone all over the country, many of them came from New York, from Chicago, from different places, and here they all stood with this beautiful bull that was given to me. Well, needless to say, I was certainly moved and touched. Quite a challenge, I would say. It isn't all fun. In fact, I don't make any money much off these cattle. Sometimes I, I don't, don't even break even. Sometimes I a few hundred dollars. Work myself at the kind of my labor I'd be broke every year. But it's something that I like to do. And I think one of the secrets of growing old gracefully is to have something that you love to do, that you can devote yourself to, that keeps you busy. And this gets me outdoors. It exercises me.